families. You know, children are not fed by hunger, they're fed by time. You yeah. know, many times, you know, you have so much of help around. Yeah. Maybe in the US or in the UK, you know, because you don't have so much of, you know, help to delegate work to, you don't have time to do things. But in India, you know, children are fed by time. You know, even when the child is like six months old, I see women or mothers, you know, chalking down a schedule and then they keep on, you know, every two hours the child is to be fed. And these ch children don't develop, a, you know, a sense of hunger. You know, they don't eat by hunger, they, they eat by time. So they don't know when to stop when they eat. And that's why the appetite keeps on growing and growing and growing. And then when the stomach becomes too big, you can't actually tell the child not to eat. So of course, these are habits, you know, you have to catch children young. You know, so catch them young is what we're trying to say here, really, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of emotional, yeah, but that feeling, that emotion is positive. I mean, love, affection, but this is not that. You're just trying to be, uh, you oversensitize towards your child. You think that this is the only child. I mean, see the children all over the world. There are a lot of children who don't have much. How do they grow? Just because you come from an affluent family and you have all the means, you know, that, that child is extra special. Why is your child so special? I mean, but why that special thing has to be shown through food only? And believe me, a lot of mothers don't feed their child themselves. That's the irony. You know, you have maids doing that and that's their duty. I've seen them, you know, like making like balls out of morsels of food and just shoving it in their mouth. And you know, sometimes these, you know, moms are not around, dads are not around. These maids sometimes they hit the children also. And out of their fear, they eat. So there are a lot of things, a lot of psycho, uh, I mean, um, psychological factors here, you know, which comes into children when they eat. So it's a very complex science. You know, we don't keep things simple. Like in America, we say it, you say the KISS principle, keep it simple, silly. Yeah. But here, we try to complicate everything. And that's what makes life difficult. And that's why we are here. You know, if you keep it simple, everything works. I mean, talking about food, you know, we see in today's time extremes in eating habits. Some people are completely health fanatics and some people are, you know, complete junkies. So the moderation, you know, we as nutritionists, we always talk about moderation and that's what is missing. You know, like we over teach our children, we want to do everything over or we don't. You know, and many times because you don't spend time with your children, you're a little guilty. So, you know, you try to do, you know, more things by taking them to malls or to buy them clothes or whenever you want to actually, you know, show affection. First thing comes to your mind is food. Let's do, go and buy you, you know, some cakes and pastries or something. So, you know, you are, you, you are trying to pass on, on your guilt. You know, I mean, you want to rectify what you've not been able to do for your child by giving them more food. So sometimes this overfeeding actually comes from the parents itself and it starts at a very young age. I mean, we are bribed through food. We are rewarded through food, which is something which has to be, I mean, we have to consciously stop doing these things. Our kids are very special to our heart, but you know, you can't just show affection through food. So, you know, that's something which I feel is really important for everyone to probably understand. Yeah, thank you. Uh, any other questions uh, from the audience? What health drink? Like? Like, I would even say Copland, Boost, Horlicks. I don't suggest it. We live in a country where we can add ragi to our milk and make it more nutritious than a holics. And you know what the label says, what the company is advertising. But there's always something called bioavailability.